This is my first time at a Cirque Series race. It is a party at the bottom. Thanks for letting everyone sleep. All right, buddy, we'll see you later, okay? Okay. High five, yeah. Bye. Bye. You wanna say bye again? <laughs> All right, guys, I am off to the mountains uh, to cheer on my brother in the Cirque series, that's right. I don't know if you've heard of that uh, race series. It's a series of mountain races, uh, shorter distances usually. Today's race is a little, I think just under seven miles. Keyword, Cirque. See if you can spell that one. Holy smokes. All right, we are out the door. Cirque. Isn't that crazy? Cirque. All right, so we are almost there. I'm uh, about to park at Arapaho Basin. Uh, AKA the legend is the uh, tagline for this mountain because it is legendary. It's, it's high, it's like I said, it's just an epic uh, ski resort here in Colorado. And a little tip of the day, uh, be careful of downhill races. And this race was on my radar for 2019, but I decided not to do it because of my injury, because of the phantom pain, and because the Pikes Peak Ascent is in two weeks. Basically, I just, uh, you know, downhill race. So it's three mile, three and a half miles up, three and a half miles down for this race. And there, that is why I opted for the Jackson Hole race because it was just six miles up uh, rather than, let me just see here where I should be parking. But anyway, bottom line, all right, I'm pulling into the parking lot, got to sign off, but that is why I did Jackson Hole six miles up just to help save the legs a little bit. So, all right, I gotta find my brother. Here we go. No! Oh my God, you got a shirt. <laughs> Good to see you. Look who's here. We, I found the racer. Good timing. Nice shirt. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. We're both, we're both wearing black. <laughs> um, Sweet man. Ah, yeah, it's got a warm up not here. raining. Yeah, series. Parking lots and down yeah. there and start just going up the hill, so. He looks good, he's ready to rock and roll. I was the driver. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Cade for watching the channel. Where are you from? I'm from, uh, well I go to school in Texas, but okay. I'm up altitude training for the summer. So. Nice, nice. Yeah, so, go Bobcats. There you go, racing the Cirque Series. All right, man, appreciate you watching. Absolutely. Cool, have a good uh, race. go all right off up the mountain I'm cruising up the chairlift I'm gonna catch them uh, I think about halfway up I'm not exactly sure how high this chairlift goes so uh, there they go I can see them way off in the distance crushing it oh man enter the pain cave ladies and gentlemen enter the pain cave There you go, there you go. Nice and easy, nice and easy.
Nice and calm, nice and calm, nice and calm. Looking strong, man. You just keep him right there. Keep him right there. So for those that don't know, the guy in first, his name is Joe Gray. He was in the blue Hoka singlet. I'll be racing him in two weeks at the Pikes Peak Ascent. He's, you know, he's known to be the best uphill mountain runner. Really, I mean, frankly, in the United States, he's one of the best. And my brother, what's up? How you doing? Good, good, good race. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it up, buddy. Basically, so my brother, is, is his name is Joseph as well. So Joe and Joseph are battling it out here. He was maybe 20 seconds back and we're about halfway up the climb. So this is exciting. This is, I, this is amazing. So Joseph looks strong. We'll see how, we'll see how they do on the downhill. Uh, but this is as high as I can get. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait here for them to be coming down. This is very exciting. Oh my goodness. Joseph! Let's go, Joseph! All right, Joseph! About 45 seconds to a minute. 45 seconds. Use the gravity. Use the gravity. There you go. There you go. You got this. Go, Joseph! You probably can't really see me right now because I got the big lens on the camera. Uh, Joseph was about 45 seconds to a minute behind Joe and now I'm cruising back down to see if I can catch him at the finish. Hi! Uh, so it's gonna it's gonna be a doozy like they were moving they were it's all about using that gravity. like uh nice that almost looks like van halen's stride yeah it got quick and all right man good work thank you how's your uh how's your carnage here did you fall 
Yeah, after I saw you uh, at the oh, restaurant, really? I got a little excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I went down, but uh, got back up. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was luckily the soft dirt. It wasn't any rocks. Yeah. So. Man, fun event. Good times. Think about 45 seconds back, man. <laughs> Approximately. It was a beast. Dude. Yeah. Uh, hats off, man. Shh, man. He just, uh, he just cranks. Cranks. He's man. smooth on the uphills. But dude, you cranks. Great too. Thanks. Yeah, it's fun, dude. Rain, a little bit of rain, but here they come. Seconds Spy back, buddy. Goggles. I think that was pretty <laughs> good. So, all right, man, we'll catch you later. And, uh, and we're back in the studio. Welcome. If this is your first time, this is where I record a lot of the endings to the daily vlog. Just so you know, there's a lot of new folks. Uh, this is a daily running vlog. So, I film every single day, publish a new vlog every day. We, we end the vlogs here in the studio, which is literally, literally my shed with a bunch of running shoes in here. So, we call it the studio. And yes, my mother-in-law gets it. Look what she sent me today. A nice bright green dry fit shirt. That's amazing. And let's dive into the race today. Okay, 6.8 miles round trip, 11K, 1900 feet of vertical gain. So about 580 uh, meters of vertical gain and loss. So it's a, you know, it's a steep, it's a pretty steep mountain, a basin. Uh, but here's the deal. If you're interested, and we're going to go with it here, question of the day, who has not ever raced a trail race you're always you've always done roads or the track so who's never raced a trail race so that's option one option two if you have done a trail race ever in your life uh what was your most recent that you can remember which one was it how far was it and i just want to make a plug to the Cirque Series. This is my first time attending a Cirque Series. And just so you know, it's CirqueSeries.com and it's spelled, I'll help you guys out, C-I-R-Q-U-E. So Cirque, as far as I know, it's basically like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to call it a ravine, but it's, it's like a feature on a mountain that's really intense. It's like steep cliffs, basically, I, I do believe. So it's CirqueSeries.com and it's a very, very well put on event. So sometimes you show up at races and you're just like, ah, this is not very exciting. Like, where's the enthusiasm here to go run a race? There's no lack of enthusiasm. At, you heard the music at the award ceremony. Like, it is hopping, good energy, great food, great drink afterward, great uh, camaraderie with all the uh, spectators and the racers. So I would strongly consider looking at this as an option for a shorter uh, racing series. So, you know, sometimes you get in, not invited, but you get maybe persuaded to go test the limits of, like, trail marathons or ultra marathons like 50ks and 50 milers it takes a lot of time commitment to train for an ultra marathon or, or or even a half marathon on the trails all of these races in the Cirque series are about six to eight miles approximately uh, so it's very manageable for a busy lifestyle okay so you can train for this and i will say though they are in like they're steep they're they're big i wouldn't recommend it as your first trail race that's for sure but maybe something to build into down the road and i haven't seen the official results yet for the top three women and the top three men you saw them on camera there i don't remember all their names and their exact times but i do just have to mention do a little bragging on my brother uh 
Two months ago, he raced Joe in Vail, Colorado at the GoPro Games and was, as far as I remember, he was at least three minutes back from Joe. It might have even been like three to four minutes back from Joe Gray. Today, my brother was 41, 41 seconds back from Joe. And listen, Joe is one of the best out there. Like, he's a world, he's not only one of the best in the United States, he's a world-class mountain runner. Like, he's won many world titles. So he's the real deal. And so I was very proud of my brother, Joseph, 41 seconds back. I just, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, kudos to Joe and Joseph. It was a little confusing out there today, cheering uh, for both of them. I was yelling at my brother, Joseph, and I don't know if Joe Gray, if his full name is probably Joseph. There's a lot of Josephs going around today in the vlog, but it was a great day. Thanks for being here. Again, if this is your first time, this is a daily running vlog. I don't know if I already mentioned that. And feel free to hit the subscribe button because there's a new vlog every day at 5 a.m. and we have a good time here as you can see. Uh, oh, except for when the lights go out. All right, I'm back. So we have a good time here on YouTube, running, training, inspiring others to get out there and seek adventure, have a good time. Like at the end of the day, we get to run up mountains. Like this is amazing. Not, not all people get to do this. So uh, it's, it's, it's humbling to be able to share it with all of you. And if you want to dive more into the running race vlogs that I have published, click on the box on the left. And if you want to watch the GoPro Mountain Games race from two months ago, where my brother duped it out with Joe and Andy, click on the box on the right. All right, thanks for being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you guys tomorrow, 5 a.m.